welcome back, and yep, I did indeed screw that up, let me fix it. Uh, 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 shit. Just give me a second. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. That's good enough. It's, not, it's never gonna be perfect, so you'll just have to complain. <laughs> Alright, we are recording. The angle doesn't look too bad, let's keep going. Anything else I can look at? Look at the fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Lee has a habit of talking to himself. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright. Uh, I have one piece of food left. I'll give it to Kenny. Because she didn't take it. I don't want to give it to him. She's a bitch. And he's an asshole, so... Kenny. <laughs> Want something to eat? What the fuck? <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> Look at his eyes! What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with that face? <laughs> Here, Kenny. Take this. Oh my god. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. They noticed that I fed Kenny. Well, they'd have to be blind otherwise. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this. Did you thing. just see? I don't have a choice. Rewind this video right now. And look at hey, that again. <laughs> thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer you're with us. You've no, 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 no. I have to stop for a second. That was the funniest glitch I've ever seen. <laughs> the camera pans to a chair as if the chair was saying the dialogue. <laughs> oh, that was gold. I'm so glad that I captured that on video. Oh my god, that was the best. That was the best. <laughs> RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Can't, 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 can't we all just get, here, get along? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Damn. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Ken. Well, shit happens. He just needs time. Shit happens. Rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yeah. What about the other kid? Uh. Oh! Whoa! And knock him about! Knock him about! Get off of the damn way! Uh. God damn it! I haven't died yet in this whole walkthrough, and I don't plan to die now. Ow. Ew. Well, that puckered up my butthole. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! There probably should have been a sound effect a sound effect with that, but whatever. We pushed it into him. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you 
all don't know. What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Damn. Don't believe him. You're lying. <laughs> it's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. That's why it, it spreads so fast. We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Pills here! <laughs> Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. She was a zombie. Back off! Whoa, strangers. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. It's the Baldwin brothers. <laughs> we don't want any trouble. We don't want any trouble. Of course, neither do we. I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we only As opposed to running on what? Farts? Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Don't have any reason not to, so... You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. A while? They're the fucking Baldwin so, brothers. this dairy, <laughs> you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Talk to Carly. Nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Me? Uh... You think they'd want me for a little? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. Nope. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know the whole story. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Who's running things over there? Uh, it's a democracy. Everybody works together, even though Lily thinks she's the leader. But no, it's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there, anyway? You're asking a lot of questions, buddy. Change the subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, 
We'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, looking this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Who oh, are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys will keep it up with yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Bad move. Hey, now, got you. <laughs> Let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! I told you. Jinkies. Asshole. Wait, wasn't that Velma that said that? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. And he he shot him in the body too, so he'll be getting up. so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely not as tech savvy as, uh, Doug. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll say it's a brilliant setup, it seems to be. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits up just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. It's all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down oh, the drive. Oh, God. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Okay, quick, quick, quick story. My mother, her name is Brenda. She has red hair. And she vaguely looks like that person, so this is quite bizarre. <laughs> Although I have to say her voice is nowhere near as annoying as that actress's voice. Oh my god. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. Uh, they grow on good. My ears are bleeding. They got a few more friends staying at I'd the rather listen to too. Sarah Palin. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh, we, yeah, we brought gasoline. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Thank fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. Big mouth. Who folks out? <laughs> a vet? Oh, mama. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Hold that thought. Go to the next part, leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you.